Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today we are talking everything I bought in the month of July on Amazon. I know it's a lot of stuff, but I love watching these videos because quite frankly, I am just I'm just a little bit too nosy. So everything I'm talking about is gonna be linked in the description bar below for y'all. I do have my laptop open here, so if you see me looking down, um, I've got them all separated out between fashion, beauty, home, a little bit of wellness, and babies. So if there's a category you wanna skip over or skip to, um, all the timestamps will be up on the screen and in the description bar below as well. Make sure to follow me on all my social media channels for more Amazon finds, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first and foremost, this white bodysuit. So I'm not quite sure how I made it this long without a white tank top style bodysuit. I have like a racer backer, high neck, whatever you would call it, bodysuit, and I love it, but I needed one that was a tank top because in order to wear a bodysuit while nursing, it has to be a little bit more easily accessible up top. So I did get this tank top version um, bodysuit because I just really like the way that slim fitted tops look, and I really needed a white color because I just feel like white, of course, goes with so much, just like I have a ton of black bodysuits, so I needed a white one. I feel kind of dumb for this, but this is actually two separate pieces. I think it's just because I'm so used to seeing sets on Amazon. So when I saw the sweater and short set, I assumed it was a set. And when I ordered it and it came in, it was just the sweater. So I had to order the shorts separately. Just keep that in mind. Don't do what I did. You know, read the description for it. But this is from The Drop, and anything that I have purchased in the month of July, even prior to that from The Drop, has been so impressive with the quality. So I really, really loved this. I feel like this is gonna be a great fall transition piece. So I did get that in the color that you're seeing and I love it. Oh my gosh, it feels so luxurious. And again, it's just gonna be easy to style and really great for those like cooler mornings, warmer afternoons that are going to eventually maybe one day come. But right now we're still in like the 103s, you know? So it's gonna be a while until I actually get to wear that long sleeves very comfortably outside. <laughs> So I finally found some nursing dresses. They're still not like the, the first style I gravitate towards if I wasn't nursing. One of them I'm actually wearing right now because I wore it to church um, today when I'm filming this, it's Sunday. But I needed some nursing friendly dresses because all the dresses that I had just weren't the most nursing friendly and it was just a disaster. So I did find this one that I like. Um, it, again, not the most like what I would gravitate towards if I wasn't nursing, but it also is maternity. I like that a lot of maternity stuff is also you're able to nurse in it after because you can just wear it for a lot longer. So if you are pregnant, you can go ahead and buy it and then wear it once you're done being pregnant. I love the way it fits. Quality is great. Um, washes and dries beautifully. The length is also really nice on this one. So I'm glad I found this one. The gray one really isn't something I would gravitate towards, but again, it's like really comfortable and it's nursing friendly. So it's good for church. Um, I do like the buttons on it. I think the color is fine. I don't, it's just not like the first style I gravitate towards, but I think it's a cute dress, especially to be for church and just to be nursing friendly. So those are about the only two nursing finds that I found that I really like, but nursing clothing just is not just not it. So I highly encourage you guys to check out my Nordstrom look for less video. I did share um, some finds in that where that were like Amazon items that I purchased that are from you know the Nordstrom sale that officially ended as of yesterday. Um, so if you want to see like fashion pieces on that's definitely a good way to see a lot of the fashion stuff but for something that I didn't mention in that video that I bought this past month. Ray-Bans you guys I mentioned these are my monthly favorites. They are the best Ray-Bans I've ever purchased. I love the square frame, the gradient lens, the color, the size, the fit, the way they feel. They, like there's there's not one bad thing I can say about these. I did get these on a Prime Day deal, like an early Prime Day deal. So I've had them for the entire month pretty much of July. Like I got them, I want to say maybe the first week of July it was one of the early ones. Um, and I absolutely love them. So Ray-Bans, you can't go wrong with. And those were a top seller and a top favorite of mine in the month of July. These Nike sneakers were actually on the Nordstrom sale and I did find them on Amazon too for the same price. So if you missed getting them on the Nordstrom sale, this color sold out super, super quick and I don't think it came back in stock. You can still get them on Amazon. These are the most comfortable Nike sneakers ever. I love the color. Um, they're really, really lightweight, but I would not say, I, I don't work out in those. I work out in on clouds, just full disclosure. Um, so I wouldn't say I like, I would like them for working out. I think on clouds are superior for that. But for athleisure wear, those Nikes are amazing. Of course, you can work out in them, but I just have not. This brown tier dress, I actually have this in black, and I bought it in brown literally July 1st because I love the black one so much. This one is okay for nursing because it does have adjustable straps, and again, you can just kind of like pop your arm right out of it. It's very easy. You can wear it with just so many different kinds of shoes to give it different like vibes to it. Um, but I have it in two colors, and it's just oh, the most comfy, beautiful midi dress from Amazon. This blazer, 
You guys, I did not think I was into the blazer thing, but I am into it, okay? I am all about the blazer trend, and I cannot wait for fall to style blazers more for you guys. I'm starting to get more into styling individual pieces multiple ways on my Instagram now that reels are kind of taking over Instagram. Um, that is something people ask here on YouTube. Like, they ask for how to style videos, like, one piece multiple ways. But to be honest, those videos don't perform well on YouTube, and you have to kind of go with what algorithm works. Um, so I don't really share those a ton here. So if you want to kind of see more how to style individual pieces, definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram. That blazer is one that is coming up. I cannot wait to style it. But even though I can like think of 10 ways to style it right now, there are even more. That blazer is such a staple. Real Techniques brushes. You guys, do not sleep on these brushes. I don't think you are because I'm sure you've probably heard a lot of people talk about them. As far as, I don't, I wouldn't want to say drugstore because like these are more, you can find them at like Target, you can find them at Ulta kind of. Do not sleep on Real Techniques brushes, but I needed to get a couple new ones. I feel like because I use Bare Minerals products a lot, um, I do kind of flip back and forth, but I back on a Bare Minerals kick. I feel like my brushes just get worn down a lot more because I'm using a lot more powder brushes and I need a lot more powder brushes just for different things like powder concealer, powder foundation. Um, so I just needed some new ones and I wanted to go ahead and get these Real Techniques brushes because they also do come with a beauty blender. And I just feel like this is like a perfect face, like staple set to start with. So so love these brushes, do not sleep on them. The liquid collagen I talked about in my beauty monthly favorites video and I shared with you guys, I've already started to see amazing growth with my postpartum hair loss. I am so thankful for because I am literally losing hair, like it is my job. I thought it had come to a stop. It is not. I am losing so much hair still, but hair loss and hair growth are two separate things. So fortunately, while I am still losing hair, I am already seeing growth. It's like really, really light at the top of my hairline. I see it. It's coming in. You can kind of start to see like all of this right here is getting real thick. That's where I lost a ton of hair and it is finally starting to grow back. And I swear it is because of this liquid collagen because that is the only thing that I changed in the past like six weeks and my hair is finally starting to grow back. So Hopefully the hair loss stops soon and then you really start to see more of that growth come in, but for the time being, the hair loss is still very prevalent. This Essie base coat I also talked about on my monthly beauty favorites video and I told you guys that this one is, it is saying it's discontinued. I found the best nail polish combo of all time. So it's the Essie base coat, OPI polish, like the actual color, and then the Olive and June top coat. Something about that just combination is like, oh, it's just so good. And I've tried every single base coat, top coat combo out there. That is superior. So when I found out that they were discontinuing the Essie base coat, I'm not even gonna lie about three. And I gave two away in my July giveaway. I do like a monthly giveaway on my Instagram every single month. So again, another reason to follow me on Instagram. Um, I gave two away because I totally believe in that base coat and I am so bummed. Essie, probably will never see this video. Essie doesn't know who I am, but Essie, if you ever do, I'm bummed. That's the best base coat on the market and it's it's leaving and it makes me very sad. So if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. This Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant, I really am trying not to regurgitate the same information that I shared in my like monthly beauty favorites video, but this is and amazing, exactly like it sounds, liquid exfoliant. Um, I've told you guys I am in a constant battle just with having rosacea and also still kind of being in the postpartum phase with my skin is just very hormonal. Um, I'm just in a constant battle with my skin to behave and so this liquid exfoliant, has, this has kind of helped tame down the like uneven skin tone that I just will, I mean, always fight with because of rosacea, but it doesn't like piss off my rosacea too. So really, really love this liquid exfoliant to just help kind of get that layer of skin off of your face. This Color Wow Root Touch Up, I swear is a hack for postpartum hair loss. So I saw this on my TikTok. Chris Applewood kept just talking about it, talking about it on all these ads. And I was like, fine, okay, I'll get it. And I am so impressed. So basically I don't have any of it in today, but if I want to pull my hair back, which I do because it's a million degrees outside, this makes me really insecure. So I bought the Root Touch Up in the color red and it actually matches my hair, which is awesome. And I will just like color in all of this right here instead of like, cause I don't dye my hair. It's obviously intended for people who are like trying to go longer between their um, hair appointments, but yeah. It can definitely like cover up patchy spots in your roots. So if you wanna pull your hair back and you're suffering from hair loss, that definitely helps super easy to use and it does wash out as soon as you wash your hair. So it's not gonna leave any kind of like weird residue to your scalp or anything. So postpartum hair hack that I am so grateful for. We bought another Yuffie vacuum, like a RoboVac. You guys, we bought our RoboVac back in like 2017 or 18. It has ran 
every single day since then. I actually went back and found, I think it was like $168 when we bought it, and it has ran every single day in our home since 2017 or 18, and it finally kicked the bucket. We noticed that it kept like hitting um, underneath our bed, it has like all these like posts underneath there to just keep it supported, and it kept hitting at those a lot over the last few months, and sure enough, one of the um, legs like stopped working. So for like 160 whatever bucks, you guys, that is very impressive that that vacuum lasted as long as it did, and I told you guys I would never go without the Eufy vacuum, and I meant it. So when it finally kicked the bucket this weekend, it did still work. I just wanted to get a new one that had like, you know, two functioning legs. We actually bought another Eufy and this is the one that we bought. It is definitely an upgrade in price and what it does um, compared to the one that we had, but we just know how much we use the Eufy, how much we loved it. So we were comfortable getting a like nicer, newer model. You can't go wrong with the Eufy, whether it's the RoboVac or the handheld vac. We love ours. We are exclusive to Eufy vacuums in this family. We are so happy with this purchase. And this one's actually a lot quieter than the other one that we had. So I did buy new pillow covers and a new duvet cover because to be completely honest, I was just kind of over the white duvet cover. I think for as long as I can remember, my husband and I have had a white duvet cover with like different neutral pillows and we're kind of in the market for a new bed frame. We're not quite sure what we want, but I saw this like boho inspired looking duvet cover and I was like, it is so so pretty. I need it. And the um, product image has black throw pillows. So I bought two different black pillow covers to go on our bed and I love it. It is just so cool. Little boho, but just different. I just was kind of over the white duvet cover. We've done it for years. Um, we'll go back to it eventually, I'm sure. But for right now, I'm liking something a little bit different and these are all from Amazon. I bought this door chime because sadly my son is four months old and it's looking like he's going to probably be going to his nursery soon. We were going to keep him in our bedroom for the full six months, but he is starting to get a little bit too big for that bassinet. He is growing like a little weed and he just doesn't look like he fits as comfortably in the bassinet. Like he looks like he wants to just spread out and he can't. So we are probably going to be transitioning him to his crib very soon, which makes me so sad, but I wanted to put something on his windows just in case the window opens for whatever reason, whether it be like, like the wind, like blew the window down a little bit, which has happened um, in our office windows before. Before, like the wind will just blow right and it'll just push it down just a little bit. I want to know if my son's window is open for any reason. So I did buy this little chime to stick on his windows and that will be staying on there for the duration of his life. Okay. My parents had chimes on our windows when we were teenagers all throughout when we were growing up. Mm -mm. We were not the kids who snuck out and got away with it. No. This collapsible cord like thing thing. I don't even know what you would really call it. I don't understand what Apple was thinking. I don't understand what goes through their minds a lot, but with the new chargers, like at least I bought a charger this year because like early, I want to say it was like January because my computer charger kicked the bucket. It no longer has those pieces that pop out to like keep your cord neatly wrapped. I like what the heck? So I did buy this. It pulls out completely. You can wrap the cord around it and secure it, or you can push it back in when you're using the cord. Like my laptop's plugged in right now. So I have it just pushed back in. So it's real slim. What the heck? What, why did they eliminate that? Like, like my cord was chaos in my work bag. So I don't know what they were thinking, but they got rid of it. So this is, I, I guess, a way to around that. And so it's a collapsible like cord organizer for your charger and it just sticks right on, holds really easy. I don't know what goes through Apple's mind. I really don't. Ninja Foodie, you guys, I finally bought one on Amazon Prime Day. And when I tell you I am not disappointed, I mean, I am not disappointed. I love that so much. It is so easy to use. It reminds me honestly of my Instant Pot as far as like ease of use with um, all of the little like buttons and settings on it. It's humongous. I got an eight quart. It pressure cooks, steam crisps, air fries, boils, bakes, all the things, slow cooks. Like I love this so much and I am kicking myself that it took me as long as it did to get my Ninja Foodie. I am basically at this point, like Sam's probably over me using it for, for dinner, but I love it and I want to put everything in it. This prep deck goes in and out of stock constantly. So if it is in stock, I highly encourage you to get it, but it's kind of what it sounds like. It is this one-stop shop like system where it comes with all of these little containers. 
where you can cut all of your fruit, vegetables, everything that you want basically for the week. It comes with all of the little containers to put all of that in. It comes with the accessories to cut them. It comes with a cutting board. It comes with a way to easily throw everything away. Like this little prep deck is the neatest tool to keep in your fridge. We actually the other day went through, I cut all of our carrots because we really like to eat carrots like with um, just cut up carrots with our food throughout the week and cut up broccoli and store it in there. Just so many different things can be stored in this prep deck. And so when I finally got my hands on this, I was like, yes, I'm going to use this a ton. And I was right. I love it. These glass meal prep containers are great. Sam really likes to take leftovers for lunch at work. And he doesn't really mind letting all of his food just like touch in one container if it's leftovers, but sometimes they can get a little bit soggy. So I bought him these so that he can keep all of the leftovers in one dish, but they are still separate. So it does have like a glass divider in the middle of it. Um, but they're great for, I mean, exactly that, like leftovers, meal prep, whatever you want to call it for food. We bought more actual ganda this month for my husband because he takes it before bed and that bottle has lasted him for so long but it was just finally time to get another so he takes that before bed and that's really all I can say about that. This temp drop tracker so I don't want to talk too much about this here because I don't want one people to ever do something solely because I'm doing it or to not do something because I'm not doing it. Um, I also don't want to invite a lot of conversation about my choices on what we're doing here but let me explain. I've made the decision I will not ever be going back on birth control, pretty much for the duration of my life. Um, you got to do what's best for you, make that decision for yourself. But for me, after going off birth control, I, I just realized how much I did not like it. Um, so I will not be going back on birth control ever. We don't want another baby anytime soon. So I'm having to track my cycle, but I really liked the BBT method, like just with a regular thermometer. That's actually how we tracked in order to get pregnant with Ezra. The problem with BBT is you have to have consistent wake up times. Enter temp drop. I have heard that you don't have to have consistent wake up times as long as you get two hours total of sleep. This is really great at tracking your temperature throughout the night because it is constantly taking your temperature. It is so easy to use. I have been using it now for right at a week. I have absolutely no complaints about it. Um, I'm actually about to end this cycle and I will start a new one. So I haven't had it for like one full menstrual cycle yet, but I mean, it seems to be really great, very easy to use. Um, and it kind of does do the BBT like method without actually having to be like the first five minutes when you wake up sticking a thermometer in your mouth. I just don't have consistent wake up times since I have a four month old. So that is how I am choosing to track my cycle and I'm very happy with it so far. These lactation probiotics. So this was the brand probiotic that I took um, that I swear kept away my morning sickness. <laughs> Seriously, I swear because I had morning sickness for like two, three days before those probiotics got into my system. So as soon as I was done being pregnant, I couldn't take the prenatal probiotics anymore. So I bought from the same brand these lactation probiotics. Um, they say that they promote healthy lactation. I don't really see a difference in as far as like my supply goes when I started taking these right after my son was born, but I do still keep them. They're actually on a subscription service for me um, on Amazon. So I got more this month. All right, we are in the baby section now. Honest diapers and honest wipes. They are our favorite brand of diapers and wipes and my son was out. He is now in size three diapers and I am not well about it. Lactation cookies. I bought these on Amazon and I have them on a subscription service because it's just always hard to find them um, at my local grocery store because usually my local grocery stores only carry like one or two boxes total. It seems like I can never find them. So I have these on an Amazon subscription service. Breast milk bags. Medela is superior in my opinion. I've tried a couple other brands. Um, I've heard things about the, I think it's like the Target brand, but I can never seem to find those in stock either. But the Medela bags are really, really strong. I have really started to back off on the amount of um, breast milk bags that I have used because I now my goal has changed and I would love to breastfeed my son for a full year. So I'm not like pumping out as much as I possibly can. Um, every chance I get because originally my goal was six months and I wanted him to have milk for the next six months but I just feel like I love breastfeeding so much it's so easy Ezra likes it so we're just gonna go for the full year but I did get a replacement for those for the milk that I am still storing in the meantime and of course it's always like I'm gonna keep you know if I have to pump I'm gonna keep it but breastfeeding is just such a dream and so easy so I just can't see like not going for the full year. It just, it, it just makes sense to go for a full year at this point. The Wellaments Teething Oil. I am actually saving these to use on Ezra until we talk to his pediatrician at his four month appointment this coming week. Um, I got a lot of recommendations for this for when he is teething, which he is currently doing. It was kind of mixed. So I just want to kind of check with her 
she was my pediatrician. She is literally one of the smartest people ever. She remembers everything, and I mean everything. She's just brilliant. So I'm just gonna take her all the kind of stuff that I've just like recently just, you know, come to find for him. Be like, does this work? Does this work? Can he use this? Can he use this? And she's probably gonna be like, wow, you're just like your mom. Yes, I am. But tell me if the Wellaments teething oil is okay to use or not. <laughs> I did get this little Hakka brand thing to make breast milk pops. Um, Ezra doesn't seem to really like cold things. They're not his favorite, but I did get this for, maybe because he's not cutting teeth yet, he might like cold things when he's actually like, the teeth are cutting through the surface. Um, but a bunch of you guys told me that like breast milk pops are great, so I got this to make breast milk pops for when that does happen. He'll suck on it a little bit, but he's kind of just not into super, super, super cold things probably because he's a breastfed baby. So we actually have this baby monitor and we bought another one for two reasons. One, we have one currently in our bedroom and it's all kind of like propped up on this big camera display thing so that it really hangs over his face because his bassinet still stays pretty far from the bed because you have to keep it so far away from your bed to make sure like pillows and blankets and stuff don't fall into their bassinet at nighttime. Um, so we have to keep his bassinet far enough. So what we actually have been doing is I keep the monitor by me so that I can click it and just, you know, make sure he's good if he makes a sound or something in the middle of the night. Well, he now is taking naps in his crib in his room and it was just a lot to be constantly moving that camera back and forth and then trying to reset it at the perfect angle so that it would see over him. So that plus him being with my mom and her kind of being like, I think I should get a baby monitor. I was like, let's just get an additional baby monitor. You know, when we have another kid, we can use this for baby number two. We love the infant optics baby monitor because there's no Wi-Fi on it and I refuse to have a Wi-Fi camera in my house. And that one still has like decent battery life to it. Um, it works, it has like a pretty far range, so. We now have two and I do not regret that purchase, not one bit. I love having two monitors. I can, you know, travel with one um, or give one to my mom and I'm not having to like constantly change the one that we have set for him in our bedroom. We did go ahead and get this baby swaddle. So Ezra, he really liked the Merlin sleep suit for a while but he really, really likes to self-soothe with his hands. And the problem with the Merlin sleep suit, at least for his size right now, he's not strong enough to lift and bring his hands to his face and self-soothe in the Merlin sleep suit. And I watched him the other day on the monitor and he was like lifting his hands and trying to self-soothe and the Merlin sleep suit wouldn't let him. And he got so angry and then that's when he cried and nap time was a nightmare. So I did buy these like looser swaddles um, that really keep his arms completely free and they just kind of swaddle down his legs and he seems to like those a lot more sometimes it is still hit or miss like he likes the Merlin sleep suit as far as the warmth goes but he really likes to be able to self-soothe with his hands so I feel like this set of swaddles is just a little bit more convenient for that purpose so we did get a little three pack we're kind of experimenting for the time being but regardless arms officially have to be out uh, because he does like self-soothing with his hands this water mat is the coolest of cool now that he reaches for toys he will pat around and like play with everything it has really bright vibrant colors to it so it's also a sensory toy for him Ezra loves the water mat and it encourages tummy time for him which at this point is really just play time because he can hold his home head up fully and then this toy arch one of my my girlfriend's moms told me about this. You can attach this little arch thing. It just has two little claws on either end to anything. And Ezra loves it, especially the pineapple. If you guys watch, like if your baby watches the um, Hay Bear sensory videos on YouTube, which Ezra loves, he just gets like super focused on them. The pineapple is his favorite and we loved. And I mean, it was like the coolest thing ever when we put the toy arch on and he looked up at the pineapple and he made that same noise that he makes when he sees the pineapple on Hay Bear. So this toy arch has been amazing to just put in the little pack and play and he can look up at it while we're cooking dinner and he's like reaching for the toy and playing with it. It's so precious to like watch his little brain grow and I love that it just like clips onto any surface and he just loves to reach for it and play with it. Oh, this was a long video. I tried to not talk too much, but so many good things purchased on Amazon this month. So I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here. Love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.